My name is Sarah Taylor, and I'm a television host. I was hanging out in Toronto, and my my oldest friend ever, she was visiting me from the West Coast, and I'm like, what do you want to do? Let's go to Much Music, okay, and we're sitting in the audience. We're older than everybody else in the audience, too, so we're just kind of punching each other. And, and then Rick the Temp was like, do you want to, you know, do you want to come in and maybe do a video? And here we are. My first day on air, I was wearing a little Sparks t-shirt that said, I promise to share and be a friend. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. And I remember the cameras coming, it's like they had a jib and it like hit something. So it kind of like, I don't know, there was, it, there was like a huge noise and uh, it was just, it was a mess. It was just my very first throw ever on camera. Welcome back to this very special edition of Much On Demand. And now international heartthrob, please welcome Justin Bieber! I get nervous for big interviews, so those things are always like interviewing Jay-Z live, you're like, oh my god, don't say something stupid, too late. Or like meeting Oprah, when, I, when I'm like literally saying to her on camera, I'm going to hug you now. Because I had to, what are you gonna do? It's Oprah, she's like my mother or something. Weird things too make me feel odd, like um, when we were um, doing live shows during the Olympics, for instance. Because that is such an important thing for our country, and you just feel like, you want to do it justice. You want to make sure that you're, you know, not saying anything silly or, you know, you're kind of saluting the entire country and all the athletes who have worked their whole lives. And I'm like, here's a video. As women, we should be supporting each other and, you know, and, and especially in our different fields and, yeah, I do think we has, have a responsibility. And also it's very popular for us not to do that as women, right? It's very sen sensationalized by the media and by men and by, by us too, for us to just kind of be catty or to be jealous or to be competitive. And there's an abundance of um, success that's possible for everyone and you can't possibly be successful in the same way as someone else and, and it wouldn't matter anyways because even if you got it, you would still do it the way that you would do it. I think once you find out what you're interested in, um, and then you start to find out and experience um, moments with other people who maybe are interested in the same things but have no opportunity to do those same things, it really shocks you. And they're like, how was Africa? And I'm like, oh, no big deal, this is just life changing. When you start to meet people who are just like you, but they don't have any of the opportunities that you have, like they don't have clean water or they don't have they don't have the luxury of walking down the street and being safe. That's messed up stuff. They can't go to school because they might get killed. Or we take them for granted so easily and from moment to moment I do the same thing and I love to just selfishly, continuously remind myself. I think it fearless means being really afraid but doing things anyways. It's courageousness. Where there is love, there is no fear. And when there is fear, there is no love. So if if you're allowing yourself to be operating in a place from fear, you're not, you're not doing what you're here to do. It's dangerous because we stop ourselves from doing things. But if you're honest with yourself, you can just kind of take a deep breath and be like, well, you know, this moment is really painful, but I'm just going to do it anyways because I have to.